today I am changing up what I'm doing and I'm doing a review video on these ice fishing fix sets which I have here and you're supposed to be able to set them somehow so they set into here and you want it so when the line goes down they set off so you want to either set in your rod tip like that, which isn't working. And you ideally want your rod to sit up and this to go upwards. This setup is not working out very well. So you want them set up like this so they're in your eye and then you put your line right through there. Yeah, so here's how the ice fishing setup is set up. Is there something messing around with this still? I think there's a northern down there looking at it. But you see the line just goes through here and then that sits into the eye like that. I had it easier going this way than I did the other way. And then something might be messing around with it. Hopefully he hits it and gets hit. But I would still say that Celsius rod works better than this and the HT rod does not work as well because it has smaller eyes you want wider eyes for this you see we are getting bites and all we have is a some I'll show you my setup on the other rod it's pretty simple it's just a size 10 hook 10, like 8 or 10 treble hook hooked to 20 pound fluorocarbon and a split shot and then that's just tied to the 6 pound line and there's about 2 feet of the have your line so the pike don't snap it off. Here is what we have for our setup. We have a large shiner tied to 20 pound fluorocarbon. And we have oh. Weird, he was on. Oh, he got them in a real good though. When a fish hits this, it's supposed to go like, and it's supposed to pop up and set the hook. I would say it's not super sensitive. And that I would not advise to buy this. I've tried using it for perch, walleye, crappie, and northerns. And so far today, I've been 0 for 1 on northerns on this lure. It could have been a bass. And I have caught... And I've caught one perch on it, and I've gotten robbed a bunch of times fishing for perch, so it doesn't work out perfectly. This one isn't even setting right. I don't know if this groove is bad or what, but on the back side of there, it might fall strip. It's these. It's supposed to sit right where my finger is, but it doesn't appear to have a good slit on this one. Let me show you what the other setup is. This setup, I took a junk board, a piece of PVC pipe, which I cut at a little bit of an angle so it still stands mostly vertical, and a screw to tie it to. A screw eye would work better. And then I can adjust the rope, how it's wrapped around there for how long a pole it is. And the pole sits on right there. And then it's supposed to sit in that slit right there. And when a fish hits, it's supposed to pull it down and pop up. And this setup has worked better than that other setup I was trying, which just went out. So we better check on it. So I was intending on doing this video for like a month and I hadn't gotten to the point where I had tried this out enough to do a thorough review on it 
and I wanted to try it for some fish that were light biting and more aggressive biting. So here's what the ice fishing quick set. I ordered them off Amazon for ten dollars for three of them plus two ninety nine shipping. And to set them, there's this piece that flops out, and then this piece. And to set it for your line, you like push this piece down in and you fold this up like this and your rod tip goes here and your line is supposed to go through this slit right here where my finger is and when a fish hits it's supposed to go like this and come apart and then your rod tip is supposed to fly out and when it was warmer out like this day they were starting off relatively easy but some of the days when I tested them out when it was colder out, they were really difficult to set up. And the one day when we were fishing for perch, it was robbed like three times and we caught one perch on it. And when I tried using it on Lake Mendota in the video where I'm fishing with my girlfriend, like it didn't go off at all. When I came in to check it, it was robbed. And the one day when I was ice fishing on Crystal Lake and I set up for crappies, like you could visually see fish biting at the line, but it wasn't setting off. So this would probably work better for more of an aggressive biting fish. I never did use this for trout, so I don't know how this would work for trout. And it comes with a rope, which is good enough for like three or four feet long. So you could put this on like a relatively long rod. I was able to put this on the ultralight that I bought in the Target Ice Fishing Challenge and the issue with this eye is it needs a relatively large eye on the tip of the rod to go into. So like the Celsius rod that I bought in the Amazon Ice Fishing Challenge video on my channel, that rod it worked pretty well with. Whereas the Doc Demon and HT rods I had bought, in, it did not work very well in. And the, this day where I was testing out for pike, I went one for four. And I think I went one for four on tip-ups also. So... I was missing a lot of boat fish on both setups. But for lighter, but and that I showed you what I had for, for a setup there. And when I was fishing for perch, I had just a size six single hook hooked up to a split shot with a crappie minnow. And some days this seemed to take more pressure to go off than in others, but it still wasn't, still the perch and light biting fish weren't setting it off very well, but the pike were setting it off perfectly fine. So maybe if you use it for more aggressive fish, it would work better. But I think you'd want to have the right size hook and bait too then, or else you're going to be pulling it away from the pike's mouth and they won't be able to run with it and get hooked. So that's the disadvantage to using a setup like this. And for I was using a treble hook for pike and a single hook when I was fishing for perch with it. And there are many, the, this part piece here is fine on this one, and it was fine on the black one, which was set up on the setup I made with the PVC pipe, but it was d different on that green one I had. And in the picture that it was sent with this, there was a picture where you had like a stake you'd screw into the ice, and then you had a vertical rod holder on the other side, and then you had this set down into the vertical rod holder but I didn't have a vertical rod holder so that's why I made that wooden contraption that I made to use this I don't know if this is worth the ten dollars or not I would almost say you'd be better off using spending your time to make a homemade version of a jaw jacker or, or automatic fisherman which there's other videos on YouTube but I will link the description for this product in this video and if you're interested in buying this you can ask me questions in the comments below about it or go and buy it on Amazon. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. And my shout outs for this video go to Big J Aquatics and Vape and Jonah Peck. So you should go check out those channels. So thanks for watching this episode of Musty Hounds Outdoors. I really appreciate your support. Thanks.